Y'all come on and get this sewing lesson. Okay, so if you have any kind of a piece of a booty, you understand this. You understand the struggle. You see that gap? I could fit my whole fist in here. So if I had to fix this with a sewing machine, I would pin it here and just sew straight down. But I'm trying to give you solutions if you don't have a sewing machine. So if I had to do this without a sewing machine, this is the way I would do it. This is the back of the pants. I'm looking for, I have a box of elastic here and I think either of these. Oh, that was a little wide. I'm gonna go with this one. I think it will fit in here. So I lay it here on the waistband and I see that it just fits inside this casing, inside this piece. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is, I'm looking for the side seam of the pants. So I have my pants laid out and this is the side. See, there's a seam here. So then there should be one here too, right here. Gonna open up both of these seams. Okay, put my finger in there. Go to the other side and open it up. I'm just shoving this in. Oh, a seam ripper would do too. Okay, we're in. And the good thing is because we have all this stitching here, this piece is separate from this piece. This is not gonna open all the way up and unravel. If it was one piece just folded over, it would continue onto this side and then we'd have a problem. So here I have the waistband. This is the elastic. It is almost the length of the waistband. It is about almost two inches shy. So yeah, so I'm gonna trim off a little bit because what we want is it's a stretch and pull that in. We're about three inches away. Let's try it. I'll take one safety pin. I'm gonna put it in the end of my elastic. I'm gonna take the other safety pin and I'm going to pin it to the pants, like the front waistband of the pants, okay? Done. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna feed it through this channel canal opening whatever you want to call it I'm gonna push the pin with my thumb I grab it and I pull it in push and pull starting to see it scrunch. I'm starting to feel it also as I'm pulling. And we got it on the other side. And now look, the back of it is all scrunched up. If you don't wanna do any sewing, you could just leave this safety pin in your pants. Okay, that's what we get. And now, looks pretty good. I mean, the slack is still there, but it doesn't feel as loose and it doesn't look like a big gap. All right, hope you learned something today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you be on alert when the next sewing lesson goes up. And also on this playlist, whole list of other little sewing tips, stitches that I've done in the past. I've just included them in this playlist. 
Um, in case you have any questions, you can go there. You can practice those stitches on just a scrap piece of fabric. And I will see you guys in just a few days with another sewing lesson. Bye, guys.